in retrospect, there were some signs of things that weren't quite right um, with the COVID nurses, you know, with this person I was trying to raise children with. Um, one of them is, he's always felt, he felt the whole time that uh, he was doing me a favor when it comes to the children. It was, it was weird, you know, that he felt that he was doing me a favor. And that includes like staying with the children by himself or even doing laundry to the point that if there was an argument, he would not do their laundry. Uh, he would just do his. Of course, he's not doing mine, but he, to the children, like he would not, he would actively go to the laundry basket and uh, select his out and, and, and leave the kids on out. Like everything when it comes to the children was felt like he's doing me a favor. Like we, don't, we didn't have the children together. He's helping me out, in quote. Another thing that I observed was it's always felt like I was negotiating for the children, uh, for things, you know, um, trying to convince him about you know, what is good for the children and what is not, I and mean, which is weird because you're parents, so you're supposed to know uh, certain things. For example, um, trying to convince him or negotiating with him how, where he needs to eat a peanut in the house or because, you know, the kids are allergic to peanuts is almost I'm trying to convince you um, what to do with something that you've known that is a problem for your child. You know, I'm trying to negotiate when you can get it where you can put it where you can store it where you can eat it you know for a child that you're aware that has well aware that has a severe allergy to peanuts but that's that that's you know that's how it was the other one is obviously zero interest in the children outside of how the child will make them look outside and then it's 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 kind of like you know the, he might not know or don't care to find out if the children have eaten or not or they need to eat or they're hungry However, he will be more concerned with how coordinated their outfits were outside. And sometimes he's not even helping with that, uh, but he's obviously trying to, uh, when they go out there, he's trying to take credit for all oh, the kids are dressed okay or they look nice or whatever. Like he is more concerned with how, how the children look outside reflects on him. Now, whether the children ate before they came out there, whether they bathed or put uh, you know, cream or lotion on, he doesn't he doesn't know about that he doesn't care about it he doesn't ask any questions about that either he's not participating in that but he's more concerned about how the children view are viewed outside because he's, 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 he's taking credit for that he feels like oh yeah you know i'm the one you know that bought this and make them look good outside or whatever you know the other thing is you know outright outright jealousy of the children and that is Jealous of the time you spend with the children, jealous of the thoughts you have about the children, jealous of even food that the children eat. Like is is weird. Now that I you know you know as I'm looking back at it, then it was very strange. You know, if you're thinking about the children, or how you like, okay, let me you know my child doesn't eat this or that. Let me try this and that. Like you you know constant like every parent would do. It becomes a huge issue in the house. And of course, now I realize what it is. How dare you try to center the child, put the attention on the child when I'm here, you know? So how try like is blatantly jealousy of the children with everything that you, anytime you spend away from them on the children or thought, like I say, even the thoughts that you have about the children is something that the covert narcissist is jealous of. These were like the signs that, you know, I would definitely deal with something that I have, like, is, I know it can be normal. It cannot be normal. You know, of course, now, find out what it is, you know, that that's what was going on then. But it was, those were the signs that um, I, I was raising, trying to raise uh, uh, children with a, a, a covert narcissist. Of course, now I'm trying to co-parent in quote with a covert narcissist. And of course, uh, most of you have seen, uh, see how that is going. All right, guys, get a hold of your mind. Get a hold of your mind, and uh, everything will be okay. Just get a hold of your mind, and please let me know if there are other signs or things that you know that's going on in your household. If you're still there, or that happened while you were there with them, you know, let me know if there's something else I missed. But these four were like really, really, they were really up there because it was constant. I mean, it was obviously like in happening. All right, guys, take care.